It is the night of glitz, glamour, Africa excellence, light, camera, action, showcase, show off, everything beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, it is AMVCA 2022, the eighth edition, and I'm here to bring you everything I feel about this, a reaction to the long-awaited event of Africa. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Funke Oshin. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Congratulations to all the nominees. Congratulations to all the winners. Congratulations to MultiChoice for pulling this off despite the break, the two class chair, you know, because of COVID. One thing that I really saw very, as very commendable in this year's AMVC is the fact that they kept to time. At exactly 4 p.m., the red cap started. It was so, you know, applaudable. You know, and they did it to six o'clock, four to six, the red carpet was on fire. Six o'clock to seven o'clock, they did a recap of, you know, this year's AMVCA is from every other year. In the past years, you know, we always have just the event itself that just, okay, we always have the nominees party and then we have the um, grand event itself, the finale, which is the award ceremony itself. But this year to celebrate the significant number of the eighth, edition they did eight days the only african award african award show that i know does events all through the week is afima that's all african music awards they always have seven days of events but this one they even beat them to it by doing eight days and i see it has been commendable so next year we did do nine days anyway between 6 p.m and 7 p.m they did a recap of what went down during the previous seven days throughout the week for the awards for, um, for the celebration of the award ceremony you know they, they showed us the fashion show they had a fashion the wrong way show they had um, the content creators um i think ball or something content creators um dinner or something like that all the events that they had throughout the week that was what they showed between six and seven and it's exactly 7 a.m ladies and gentlemen yeah what started and the fact that they kept on they were keeping to time you know we we we, we like i we like to overdo in this country so for the people for the recipients of the awards who wanted to talk too much i think they gave them like 20 seconds those or 30 seconds those who wanted to shoot beyond their time were shut down with no time wasted i really really applaud the fact that they kept, kept the time there's nothing like african time hello yes and maybe it's because hollywood people from outside the the, the continent are around they don't want to mess themselves up but then whatever reason it may be it is a good one. The red carpet had um, the two media media legends. Let me call them legends anyway. Ebuka and Tokemi Akiwa. They've been doing this for so many years. They were the main red carpet. They, they were on the red carpet alongside Uti and Sika Ose. And ladies and gentlemen, I must really, really give some accolades to Sika Ose. She was so professional, so, so regular. She was asking the right questions and everything on the red carpet. I really enjoyed that session. And of course, Uti brought in some, you know, um, fun time. Yeah, I really, I feel that he was kind of the only one who made the guests very comfortable on the red carpet. Others were uptight, but Uti kind of brought in, you know, some some really. Uh, I'm not gonna put it right now. Um, Uti was friendly and he made them homely and comfortable. I enjoyed Uti's interview, and it is very unusual. Anywho, what in a red carpet interview was going on? Someone that I saw before her face showed, you know, while she was being interviewed at the red carpet, I can't remember who interviewed her, but while she was being interviewed at the red carpet, the camera shots came from her neck and her hands and her arms. And then I was feeling, I, I was like, is Isha Wuru right here in the MVC? Has Isha been resurrected and came from the MVC? And voila, ladies and gentlemen, it was Nancy. I saw Nancy and I was like, huh? Okay, we are trying to make a statement with the beats and the fact that it's an African show, so you are trying to show African. But anyway, it gave me some vibes of um, Yeyosho with some modern touch, with some westernization and, you know, the makeup, the hair and everything. Anywho, so right here, I'm just going to be talking about my top, uh, before I go into... You know my highlights of the show and the commentary on the show i'm going to be giving my top three female best dressed and uh, my top three male best dressed yes africa magic did their own they chose their own and i think 
um, in case you guys are wondering, no, this person is deserving. I saw somebody's picture on social media on Instagram. She slid one at this person. Why is this person on, not on top three? You know, the, the nomination was based on those who came early. It's for early birds, you know. So between the time of the red carpet, 4 a.m. to I think 6, 4, 4, why do I keep saying a.m.? 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. That was when um, they, they went to the booth to take the pictures. Pictures on social media in their houses didn't count. It's only those that who came to the best dressed booth to take pictures that were nominated. And of course, their pictures and nomination um, voting stopped at 8 p.m. So from those people who went there, Africa Magic chose their own top three. So me, I have my own top three right here based on the overall pictures that I saw on social media, the, um, the stars, the pictures they posted on their Instagram, you know, and pictures taken by blogs and all that. So basically everyone who attended um, AMVCA 8 that I saw their pictures, I'm picking my top three from there from both male and female so for my top three female of course she was one who won and i feel whether on the booth or outside the booth it was no brainer osas killed her look oh jesus was it the tail that was making her look like a princess like a swan princess but not with the too many you know t um, swirls and all that is it oh my god is it the the fact that is it the see-through material is it the, the way it sits on her body is it the way her waist was so snatched her look her makeup everything definitely i must say that osas really killed it and she deserved she won the best dress overall and she deserved that title fabulous ha osas you are truly you are truly a beauty queen i must say and then another person that i'm going to be putting on my top three is Bukumi. She's also wearing a color similar to Osasi's color. She's wearing a silver, silver gown, which looks very beautiful on her. She, she's on silver all through. She's the shoes, the, the, the slits, which, my God, and the tail too. The, oh my God, what, what am I going to call the one on her arm? She looked gorgeous. Her hair, the makeup, she looked really gorgeous. And that person in my top three that didn't make it to Africa Magic's top three, is Tokemakiwa. Guys, yes, she was working, she was on the red carpet, but damn, Toke's outfit was everything for me. Oh God. The fact that there were feathers and underneath that dress and the tail, the, the, the attention the, to details, you know, her body, a banging body, no matter how she got it or whatever, if you guys want to say something about that, I don't care. The fact that the body, the clothes was sitting well on her body and it was really, really showcasing the, the, the shape and everything it was bringing out the finesse in her body and the figure was just really bold and the color sits perfectly well on her skin with some accessorizing on the dress itself her hair you know Tokyo always kills it when it comes to fashion she kills it and she didn't miss out on this one if she if she, if she were given the opportunity to be on the booth i'm sure she would probably win this i'm sure <laughs> anyway that's it on my top three female now going to top three male guys somebody that made it to the booth but didn't win but didn't even get to top three and i'm wondering but anyways because it is viewers choice people were asked to click to like the pictures on instagram on africa magic's page and the highest number of likes will be on the top three i'm talking about daniel 18 f young guys you know we always have this um conception that when it comes to dinner wears you know black color dresses color dresses guys just go on suit and tie and jimmy trousers there's a statement on this outfit you know i love the fact that the color even despite the fact that we've seen this type of color on men a lot but whatever it is called that was coming from you know that was over the, was put over the suits it is genius it was styled by swanky jerry and gosh it is true that no swanky no styling damn the shoes the outfit was perfectly tailored this is not the regular regular suit and tie that you see out there it deserved to be in the top three anyway to me it really deserved it it was looking so hand daniel no good <laughs> So another person on my list is um this one didn't even make it to the booth at all. Another late comer right here. Guys, 
It is Timini. Jesus. Jesus. Timini's outfit screams royalty. It screams everything that has to do with excellence. Timini looks like an English prince. Damn, it was also styled by Swanky. And Timini just knows how to carry himself. Remember that there's something like a skirt <laughs> underneath that suit. Can I even call it suit or jacket or whatever the, the thing he's wearing on the top? But it's just it's screaming royalty to me, definitely. It's screaming African royalty. Like, oh my god. He's on my top three, anyways. <laughs> then the final person on my top three is, oh my gosh. This guy always kids. I think since the last MVC has been making statements about his outfit and he's been making from from the last MVC to all the premieres that comes after he's been making statements. He keeps wearing winning best dress in premieres. Guys, I'm talking about Stan Inze. Stan Inze was looking like an African king. You know, it's an African award show. African Magic Viewers Choice Awards. Come African with all glory and royalty and kill it. Damn. Wow. It was looking like, you know, all this Wakanda or all this. I don't even know how I'm, how I'm gonna explain. He's looking like an Igbo royalty. And at the same time, he's looking like, you know, something like um, a Game of Thrones royalty or... He really killed it. I don't know why he didn't make it to top three. He made it to the booth. But yes, again, the best dress was based on people's likes, so whatever. But congratulations on making it to my own top three, nigga. <laughs> now let's go to the show itself. I had a whole lot of moments that caught my attention, that brought me down to tears, that I cried my eyes out and I was like, oh my God, this is excellent. Oh my God, I'm so emotional. And some I was like, ah. Okay. <laughs> Top 12 Nigerian Idol contestants performance. You know, it's something that you'd want to look forward to. They'd be like, oh, top 12. You know, some of them, we've not, you know, we've not seen them on our TV for a very long time. And then we are seeing them now. We'll be like, oh, 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 awesome. I can't wait. But then the sound messed them up. I'm sure they put their all into rehearsing and coming to perform and all that. But at some point, it was as if we didn't even hear some people's voices. It was like their microphones was not working. Their microphones were not working or something. I, they, they did their best, they put their best into it. I don't know the language we're singing in, but at the same time, I, by the end of the day, I feel that the sound messed them up. And it didn't make me really enjoy their performance. That's what I feel. Can we give IK his flowers? IK has been doing this for eight years and he keeps killing it back to back. I feel that nobody matches up to IK when it comes to compare. He's a compare and at the same time, he's an MC in the sense that he's professional and he knows how to be very humorous that guy is a legend oh that man is a legend i look up to him actually yes i do he's one of my mentors that or he's one of my mentors that doesn't know that he's my mentor <laughs> so ik uh, was speaking on the top actors in nigeria and nollywood he said um covid caused a whole lot of people to to, uh, to start experiencing sapa you know in nigeria sapa means um, poverty so he, some people started experiencing poverty and one of them was he said Chioma Akwata after Kobe started selling popcorn he said look for Ufuman McDonald's he was speaking on all of them and then he got to DME he said DME during COVID money was not coming again and then he became a real estate agent <laughs> uh, and I saw that DME wasn't smiling at all I was like ah guy He's just joking. Smile now. What's your problem? Then he said something else that after that, that one wasn't working. I can't remember the second thing that he said again to shade DME. And from the crowd, DME just said, shut your fucking mouth. And people were like, ah. But Oga, I didn't stop at that. He kept on picking on him. And before we knew it, DME just stood up. I was going to the stage to go and do like with Smith. But we didn't know what he was going to do. <gasps> because... <laughs> Bouncer stopped him before he could get on stage and I was like, it, 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 I like the humor, but left to me, I think it was acted. I think they planned it. I think they planned to do that. Just, just give the show some kind of comic relief or anything like that because after the bouncers, the bouncers were taking him out and then Nike was like, no, 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 don't take him out, come back. <laughs> I really love that. It's one of the highlights of the show for me. I'm saying this chronologically as they were unfolding during the show. 
So another thing that came my attention, I was like, ah? Tony Lawani came to present an award with Jide Kosoko. And then I looked at what she won, I was like, this is not Met Gala. This is not a themed event that they will tell you to come like in Halloween outfits. Fine, we know that Tony Lawani likes to make bold statements when it comes to events and when it comes to fashion. She likes to make bold statements. But that was giving me a Karashika vibe. Like an Ojuju Kalaba vibe. The black dress would have done it. But Tony Lawani put a whole cow horn. Or was it cow? I think it was a cow. Or ram. On a dress. I could see the look on Dide Kusoko's face while they were presenting. Yeah. Oh, dear Rada. <laughs> I don't know. She, yes, she calls herself the fashion goddess. Sometimes she comes off as that. But that was an overboard statement. I wonder how she sat down. How do people beside her? Because they didn't show her in the crowd at all. Or did she, did she just wear it for the presentation, for the presentation alone? And after that, she put off the cow head the horn was so long okay so the first oh moment that i saw was when um for the category of the best makeup artist of the year um the makeup artist for for the makeup artist for omogesa um, saga was the one who won and um funka Gidele thought she wasn't there so funka Gidele and her husband they just yes they were together all of you that are carrying rumor that they are separated they came to they were together at the event and funka Gidele, when she won she even mentioned her thanks to my husband so if they don't want to if anything is going on at least we don't see it they, we saw it today that nothing is going on so you guys should keep it at that and pray for the marriage okay so funka Gidele and her husband went to have received the award and then what she wanted to talk that i'm not the the lady just showed up and I was like, hey, come, 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 Agasa Venus, eh, it was Sabio, eh, Agasa, <laughs> Agasa Venus won. This is the first time that AMVCA we put in um, online content creators in any category for the past seven years. This is the first time to award the um, online creators, the um, comedians online that are doing excellently well. And August Sabinus won, Mr. Funny won. And left to me, he really deserves it. There are times I would spend 30, 30 minutes and close to an hour on August Sabinus' page and I'm binging on his content. Even the ones I've watched before, I'm watching again, I'm laughing and I'm cracking up. And before I knew it, I was like, ah, okay, you spent 40 minutes on this page. You can't find something else to do. So I really feel that he deserved it. And it was so emotional. So, so emotional. He, he, he was gobsmacked. He didn't know what to say. He was just like, ah, Jesus. Then Osas won for best actor in movie. I think, I, or something like that. I think it was the overall, overall best actress. And it was for the movie Rattlesnake. I've seen Rattlesnake and I can understand that and i know that she really gave her best in that movie it was so emotional when she was going on stage she was jumping like a baby like a child not minding the beautiful dress she was wearing not minding the fact that she has to be classy and all that she was really excited she was jumping like a child literally and when she got on stage she said the most beautiful thing which she said what she was why which she mentioned while she was on the red carpet anyway that if she wins it would be a win for her mom that her mom her mom died her mom passed sometimes last year and um she said it was while they were preparing for the movie rattlesnake and she couldn't she, she didn't leave to see the you know the end products of the movie and while she was shooting a child azariah was always her mom was one you know watching over a child and you know 
it's also emotional she cried and she was so happy she dedicated to her she dedicated it to her mom and i can imagine how happy she was because she hasn't won any any mvca before this is our very first mvca and for it to be this significant it's so emotional and so beautiful congratulations Osiris. congratulations to you congratulations and that um part that really got me was Staninze. Staninze won best actor um in the same movie Rat rattlesnake and it's a win-win for Rattlesnake anyway, because Rattlesnake won for best female, for best actor, and even best director. Ramsey Noah won for best director. It's a really, it's a big win for Rattlesnake, I must say. So Sanize came on stage, and what made this emotional at first was Ramsey Noah was supposed to present this award. I can't remember the person he was supposed to present it with, and because it was his movie and it was on that category. He was just like he can't do this and he gave the person beside him the lady beside him to announce the winner because it would be somehow if that snake didn't win if you had to mention somebody else so <laughs> and it's also beautiful when Staninze was mentioned and he was like yes and Staninze came with battalions on stage he was on top of the world he was literally jumping like a child too like Osas did and you know it's so beautiful with his wife beside him and he was appreciating his wife and all congratulations to rattlesnake and of course to stan Nize on his win when akuna and kingdom were singing to pay tribute to the to those who have passed on and i'm like wow a lot of people really passed in the past two years the names were on ending i i I couldn't bring myself to count it because if I were to count, there would probably be 20 or more than that. Jeez, a lot of people have really passed on in the entertainment industry. You know, they pay tribute to all of them and um, may God keep keeping us. May God keep keeping us. Those of us that are still here, may God keep keeping us. And may the souls of the departed rest in peace. And may they continue to rest in peace. Finally, what I'm going to say, I think one movie that I think I really need to go and watch is Amina. Amina kept on bagging awards, as in back to back. I think they got like five awards. Kilo de, na only una wakakum. So I'm, th I'm beginning to think, what's it about this Amina movie? I think I always see it on Netflix and I just take it by like. So that's one movie that I'm taking out of this show that I'm going to watch yeah thank you so much for watching guys let me know your comments in the comment section what do you feel about my top three female and male f um, best dress what did you feel about them i'm sorry that i'm not posting any clips alongside what i'm saying because i've tried it before in the past african magic always flags down clips used on other youtube channel if they don't flag it down there'll be a copyright claim just for just using the videos so if i see pictures while editing i'm going to be using pictures instead of video but no videos please pardon me anyway pardon me okay don't forget to like this video if you like it if you enjoyed this please click on the like button let me see it physically click on the like button don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that yet and don't forget my name is funky Oshin. And right here, I give you everything entertainment, lifestyle, I take you around Lagos, what it feels like to be living in Lagos, and I talk about everything worth talking about. I'll see you next time.